Hey everyone, this is Emmanuel from AirTrain.ai. As you may have heard, a new Mistral model has leaked. Uh, it was actually confirmed by the CEO of Mistral AI that the model has leaked. Today, I want to show you how to run the model. Before you get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's take a look at the model card here on Hugging Face. Here is the, the model uh, the model name, MiQ. Uh, I don't know why it's called like this, but uh, anyway. The original leaked model was quantized. Uh, and so this is a dequantized version of the model so that it can run easily with things like VLM and, and so on. It's unlikely that you will be able to run this model on your local machine because it's a very large model, 70 billion parameters. So it will require a lot of GPU memory. I will show you how to run it on a remote service. The first thing to figure out is how much memory we need, how many GPUs we need to run it. And so there is this uh, handy tool here on Hugging Face. I'll post the link in the description below. But essentially, if you copy paste here the, the name of the model, and you paste it here uh, and you select the type of GPUs that are available to you, it will tell you how many GPUs you need. So here it says we need two GPUs for inference. So that's what we're going to try to do. We are going to get GPUs from a company called RunPod. So RunPod is an on-demand GPU provider. It's very handy. You actually don't need to write any code to use it. So I'm going to show you how to get started. So the first thing you should do is uh, create an account. And once uh, you're in here, you probably need to add some uh, funds to your account. So you can add, you know, if maybe $10, $15, that's probably enough. See, uh, today I've been playing around and it also uh, only costed me $2. Once you're here, you can go into Explore here and you can type VLLM. So VLLM is one of the most popular inference servers out there. We're going to use it. There's already a template image here that we can use. So we don't have to build any images. So I'm going to click here. There's a few instructions here. And then I'm going to, to click here, deploy to GPU cloud. Here, uh, I need to select what kind of machines I, I want to use. We need two GPUs. So out of those H100s, if we can get two of that, we can, it's available. So it's going to cost uh, about $7.78 per hour. So we're going to click deploy. And here we're going to parameterize the Docker image to run our model. So we're going to click customize deployment. And here there's a default set of arguments to run Mistral 7B. And so we're going to replace those to run MiQ instead. Here is the command line that we need. So dash dash model, and this is the reference of the model that we got from Hugging Face, dash dash D type float 16. So essentially, this is the precision of the weights that are stored. And here we're going to do dash dash tensor parallel size of two. This indicates VLLM to parallelize the tensors across two GPUs. So this is how we're going to leverage those two GPUs. And then we're going to pass max model length, which basically limits the size of the context window so that we don't use too much memory. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set here the volume disk to 500 gigabytes. The model is pretty large and, uh, and it, it needs that much space to, to be downloaded. Uh, OK, so we're going to do set overrides. And now we're going to click continue. And so see $7.78 per hour. And we're going to hit deploy. Okay, so let's take a look here uh, at the logs, system log. So this is downloading the image right now. So this is going to take a bit of time. Okay, so now it's starting the container. So let's switch to container logs and it's starting to download the model. So this is going to take a while because there's uh, over 100 gigabytes of model to download. All right, the model has completed the download of the weights. Now the VLM server is launching, so it's going to take a bit more time. OK, so the web server has launched. So now I'm going to close the logs and I'm going to click on connect. 
and there's a button here that says connect to HTTP service. So I'm going to click on that. And this is, this is the URL of my API server. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to switch into my terminal here. And so I'm going to curl and then paste the URL. So this is not secured. So you don't need an API key. This is your own server. So do not share this with anybody else. And then the API offered by the VLM inference server is compatible with OpenAI. So we can use the OpenAI endpoint paths. So for example, here, we want to list uh, the models that are supported by this server. And as expected, you can see that there's only one model supported here. And that's the one that, that we launched. Okay, so now we're going to try to query this, this model. We're going to use the OpenAI API, so completions. And then I'm going to steal from the documentation here. I'm going to steal this, this payload right up here. Okay, there we go. And then I only need to replace the model name with the one that I just launched. Here it is. Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, uh, San Francisco is a city that is known for its diverse. Okay, this is truncated because I asked for max token of seven. Okay, but you get the gist that works well. Also, as I mentioned, this is OpenAI compatible. So we can launch a Python console and we can import OpenAI and then we can import the client and then we can instantiate the client here. So we don't need an API key. As I mentioned, this is not authenticated. And then we just need to set the base URL of the API to the one that we just launched. So we're going to use this. Uh, and so we instantiate the client and then we're going to prompt it. So here it is. Tell me a joke. Okay, here's the joke. Why did the biscuit go to the doctor? Because, okay, it's been truncated because probably of the uh, max token setting. But you get the idea. Now you can integrate uh, MiQ into your application if you already have uh, the OpenAI SDK integrated. This is the idea. As you can see, pretty straightforward to run MiQ on RunPod. Don't forget to use uh, two H100s and to set the pod volume to 500 gigabytes and also to use the correct command line here, which I will paste in the description below. Now, remember that when you do this, the you're paying per minutes of usage of this pod, so don't forget to shut it down. And also uh, remember that MiQ is an unofficial illegal leak of the model, so it's not the full performance of the full model. So obviously do not use it in production. Uh, if you actually want to use Mistral Medium in production, you can simply sign in to Mistral AI, get an API key, and they also offer an API that is compatible with the OpenAI API. So this is the most uh, much better way to do it. If you just want to give the model a spin, get a vibe check, you can go to airtrain.ai and uh, you can sign in for free. You just hit get started here. And then once you're signed in, you can do play with model here and you are in the playground. And so you can click add model and then Mistral AI model. And then you can select the variant Mistral medium and then you can prompt it here. Uh, tell me a joke. And then you can also uh, add more models to compare this, for example, with GPT-4. And if you want to compare this with Llama, for example, so we can let's pump, in, pump the model again. There we go. This is it for today. So as you can see, pretty straightforward to run MiQ on RunPod. Give it a try and let me know in the comments how it went. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.